What's going on guys, more Medic One. This morning we are starting on the uh, the Fix It Forward mower, the one that y'all guys helped me out on the parts. Thank you so very much. I am humbled to absolute death about this. And what we're gonna do, I've already, let me show you. To just give a little bit of a backstory for y'all that are just now um, trying to understand what's going on here. Uh, this mower is going to get donated to a young man that wants to start mowing yards. And uh, you guys helped me out. <clears throat> Y'all bought me a throttle table. And it's good to go now. And the carburetor, instead of going through the carburetor, we just opted to go ahead and put a new one on there since the old one, the throttle shafts and were wore the out. The last thing that I need to replace on this is the, the drive system is slipping. The way this works is kind of like a snow blower. It's got a disc, a driven disc here, right here. And this drives off of the crankshaft via a rubber belt. But what happens, the rubber drive disc here gets worn out and that's what we're gonna replace today. What's happening is when this mower cranks up, It's raining today, holy crap. The shop is getting water in it because I got the door open. Let's go ahead and put a squeeze clamp on this and get this thing cranked up. And the way you engage the drive system is this paddle right here. If you don't put any pressure on it, or forward motion, I mean, it, it goes. But whenever you go to put it in a higher gear, it just stops. As you can tell the, uh, the, dri the drive disc is moving, but the driven disc is slipping. We're going to disassemble this and we're going to replace that rubber drive wheel. Servicing the drive system on a snapper is pretty simple. The only thing we gotta do is we gotta get this shaft off and it's just held on by a carter key. Go ahead and then remove that carter key right here. Sorry about the rain, folks. It's noisy on my tin roof. Pull that out, don't lose it. And then pull the washer and then the shaft will just slide right out and you just let it dangle right there. My goodness, it's coming down. They said it was going to be spotty today, so it shouldn't last long. See there? <laughs> That's crazy how it just comes down in droves and just quits. <laughs> Next, we need to remove the downward tension spring here. And it's not even hooked into anything. It's actually just got a little cradle that it sits in right here. So you just take your pair of pliers and slide that off. You can remove the spring or you can just let it dangle right there. So now the drive assembly should be ready to take off and I'll show you some lubrication points that'll help you go back together with it. Just wiggle it out. They will get worn here in this bushing. You can actually replace all these bushings if they're worn out. But just go ahead and pull this off out of its bore here. shaft it's a hex shaft this is what drives it and it'll get worn in here it'll it'll egg shape this or dish this but it's real simple just one nut on the other side over there holds this whole shaft in anyway we're free and uh, i've got the parts over there it's real simple all you got to do is zip these quarter head inch screws out and replace that drive disc look here how easy it is they make to replace the bushing in there. In the late 90s, early 2000s, 2002-ish, uh, Snapper did away with the spring-loaded, uh, oh, the idler pulley system here. 
And what they've gone to is a stretch belt. And this stretch belt, in my opinion, works a lot better than that idler pulley and spring assembly. The drive disc number is a Stins 240 275, or there is the original part number for Snapper 704059. You can see that. There we go. All right, so we get us a Torx, or you can get a, a ratchet socket, yeah, but I'm going to use a Torx. I think it's a T25, and just go ahead and loosen or take out all of the retaining bolts here. There's five of them. seen these drive discs wear all the way down to where it's metal to metal and uh, I just don't like them to get that long get that far down wore out before you replace it but this one as you can tell it's almost flush with the metal so it's time for it to go this repair is also very similar to the 30 inch you know riding tractors that has this style of drive system just get you a flat blade screwdriver and we're gonna peel this off cover plate there and sometimes it's a little bit stiff on there but just slide it off and then we'll slide the new one on and it's bi-directional it doesn't matter the new one's always a little bit tough to go on because it's fresh and stiff but there we go rooster says cockle doodle do all right and also whenever you go to tighten this thing down it's going to squish this uh out a little bit farther <clears throat> just tighten these up like you would a lug nut on a truck skip every other one until you get them tight You can tell that's pretty good, uh, good quarter inch, three sixteenths, three eighths inch actually, gap of how worn that old disc was. Of course, I'm not holding that, you know, perfect, but just to give you an idea. We can clean that shaft really good. And we're going to put just a little bit of grease on that. Not much, just a little. This is just going to help it slide just a little bit. You know what grease works the best here? Caliper slide grease for automotive, but I'm using this synthetic uh, transmission assembly goo it'll work just fine what I like to do is just take me a little bit of sandpaper and you don't have to remove material all you're doing is removing the glaze off of this disc at the surface this gives the rubber wheel something nice to grab on you can if you're careful crank the motor up and just kind of hold it there I may do that but you get the idea. a little bit of grease here on this shaft clean it up real good de-rust it 
Go ahead and slide your shaft back on. Slide her into the pivot bushing. Make sure you've got good you know, free range of motion. You don't want any binding at this point. So everything looks good. Reinstall your tension spring. Just lays in this little saddle right here. Now slide your gear shift lever back through, put your washer and your carter key make it easy for the next guy and put a clevis pin in there. I hate jacking with those Carter pins. They get weak after you bend them a few times. Oh yeah, she pulls good now. Oh yeah. You really got to pull back on it. She'll stare and burn wheelies now. guys if this content helped you out please give me a thumbs up we got this snapper fix it forward mower going one more time the only thing i've got left to do is just the general service we're going to throw an air filter and uh, change the oil sharpen the blade for him but anyway guys stay tuned and we'll catch you guys on the next one